for example the next person had written about the yoga it it is like it's like the major hobby i mean it's a major uh, you know, the sport or activity which has been now taken up across the world so it was started by the country a country and we have a day to uh, celebrate it uh, i think it's june 21st and then we uh, and uh, who started it especially if it is i, I don't know whether it was written yoga written by any uh, south indian or something i think it was i think uh, it was started by uh, 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 south indian who i don't i don't remember the name actually uh, so uh, the importance what was the reason for adoption of it different asanas they will ask you to ask you to show some of the breathing asanas um so and uh, the importance of the asanas how do you relate that as these asanas or the the postures to the current covid situation is it going to help us how it is going to help us in the physical development the entire stress uh, that's that's what yoga is uh, emphasis upon ki uh, how do you handle stress so the next question is like the, you should do yoga you should do meditation so how do you link all that things that's something we need to uh, we need to be very thorough about the next person had written, uh, had written about the mono acting it's a very good skill i have no, i don't have much idea about it ki how it started and all but uh, what are the i think it's uh, it's mo- mostly uh, i do feel that it's famous in uh, uh, european uh, culture and also if 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 it's so i i, I i'm assuming it so if it's so then you should have where is it where is it originated is are there any schools for your coaching i mean for mono acting just like we have nsd so uh, so anything related to that and you should be able to, you, the person who is written mono acting you should be ready to uh, show off your skills also it's a very good opportunity to show your how uh, i mean your extrovert behavior so that could actually help us when you are into the service and uh, not necessarily that they'll ask everybody to to do all the hobbies and show for example dance uh, one of the person had written the dance so you, sh- you should be knowing ki uh, where is it where is it originated and what why was it uh, taken into account how did it become a famous uh, activity so all this we should be knowing and the last one of the other uh, interesting hobby written by one of the candidate was conversation with the strangers uh, the uh, i would suggest if you are written that you should be uh, you should be uh, extremely uh, uh, i mean uh, thoughtful about uh, the positive conversation as well as the negative conversations which you had with the stranger it might be good it might be bad but uh, if it is good then uh, if you have encountered good conversations then put honestly the good conversations if it is a negative conversation you should be honest enough in telling that this was an it, it was a conversation which i didn't like but it happened over a course of time with the stranger so it, and don't make up anything or don't lie anything about your hobby if you don't know about it i mean i would suggest there should not be any such instances because they'll not go into like ki uh, to the i mean the extent to which you are preparing i don't think they'll go beyond that to know ki whether you know your hobby or not but it should not be like you are going to cook up a story uh, to tell ki it was a good conversation or it was a it was a bad conversation so i would request if you are if you had any good con- uh, conversation with any of the stranger or a negative conversation i would suggest you to write it down somewhere and recollect it uh um, i mean uh, try to recall it as many times as you can so that you can put it forward in a, a very natural way uh this is with respect to the hobbies and next i uh, when i look into the adapts uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, the candidates here i mean three candidates here two are from uh, belong to the engineering section and one candidate belongs to the commerce section so you should be knowing about your subjects the panelist m- might be a part of that uh, uh he might be he might uh, belong to any of the streams for example as i said uh, hc gupta te- uh, I, w- i was under hc gupta uh, panel and hc uh, gupta teaches chemistry and chemical engineering at um, iit delhi i suppose so uh, i i am i have done my uh, uh, engineering masters from chemical engineering from indian institute of science so so he went into depth into chemical engineering he asked me the laws of thermodynamics i think the civil engineer guys would the guy who might be understanding here the laws of thermodynamics he asked me to uh, write the mathematical equation of thermodynamics and he also asked me to uh, give me an alternate forms of uh, thermodynamics uh, the laws so uh, then there were some uh, some questions which i was able to understand and um, uh, the, uh, there was the first law of thermodynamics which i was agreeing upon and he was not agreeing upon it and he asked me to write an equation uh, on it as, i mean somehow i was able to recall an equation so i wrote an equation but he was still not agreeing to it but uh it it was uh, i mean i didn't have to i didn't have to prove my point or i didn't have to uh, argue, i didn't have to argue with him 
so he he said that no this is what your return is wrong so i just said i tried explaining to him but he didn't listen then i said i'm, I'm sorry sir this is what uh, i feel and if you say uh, this is the this is the equation the so so bad so so it, he didn't he didn't get angry at it so he he was like a, he calmed down a bit when he said when i agreed with fine uh, you, you might, it might be right because he's a he's at a much bigger uh, uh, position than uh, than me so so it was like uh, so it didn't have to go in a wrong way so but you need to know about engineering subjects you need to know about uh, the core things of your subject and you need to know about the favorite subject they might ask you what is your favorite subject and they might if uh, I'm, I'm not say, i'm not saying every every uh, interview would go in that manner but if the panelist has or been worked in any of the stream i'm pretty sure he's going to ask ask you about the you know, the the details or any of the subjects of which you have met have studied so it should be very thorough with it don't go blank with any of your uh, uh, the studies which you have done because uh, two are from iit and one is from the very good college in bangalore that is christ so you should be knowing about your subjects uh, thoroughly uh, i mean uh, to that to an extent that you can explain um, it might so happen that it, it's been a long time you might, might be out of touch but you still have time so you could go through some of the subjects and uh, this is a way this is a way this is how you can direct them if they are going in a one particular direction with respect to engineering and then you could direct them so this is my one of the my strong hold this is one of my subjects where i am interested in or i scored well so you could direct them to your subject and then you can ask them then this will eventually lead them uh, them to ask questions in that specific specific subject itself so that could be a, a brownie point uh, after the, after the i mean with respect to the uh, the engineering subjects the next thing is uh, the optionals uh, uh, i didn't i didn't get to see the optionals or the three people here but uh, uh, it, it should be it should be well versed with the options i don't think that would be a problem because everybody would be writing answers day in and out and everybody would have written uh, i mean so many answers that you know ki uh, complete details of the the optionals which you have uh, written so the again you should have you should have a you should have a broad view of the option which you write also try to relate it to your uh, the dynamic thing that is the current affairs and all so it should not be a static answer it should not be a bookish answer so so i would request you to uh read your optionals uh, and link it to the dynamic for example my optional was public administration and they asked me i think a sir has guided me a lot in public administration uh, i used to write answers with the sir uh, so in public administration he, they they asked me about um, uh, the the uh, the behavioral uh, hierarchy which we study i am not able to recall but uh, they tried to uh, they, they asked me to uh, ask me to relate or ask me the importance of that hierarchy in the current scenario so that was a specific time when there was study going on about how do you bring in a change in employees in the government sector that is motivational theory sorry it is one of the motivational theory where we have it is it uh, the money or is it the status is the opportunity or the recognition which we get which one of the factor which actually impacts or motivates a person to work harder in the organization that was um, one of the things and since it's a public admission they'll they'll ask i don't think uh, anybody has an option taken here or any of three of you but they'll ask yeah, weber bureaucracy theory you know so so, uh, so this this could uh, this could uh, be a good question because usually this is how the bureauc uh, bureaucracy and this is where it came from so we should be knowing about the uh, the optionals uh, properly so